So here on file system, we have NTFS, we have FAT32, and we have XFAT. So I'm gonna explain the differences on these different file systems. Now, NTFS is what uh, Windows hard drives use. This is very compatible with Windows and is a very efficient system for storing files. If you wanna utilize the drive to the max, you want to have NTFS uh, size. However, NTFS won't work for Mac systems and won't work for most uh, printers or it's not really compatible, right? Uh, FAT32 is the most widespread and most compatible of any file system. But there is a problem with FAT32. The max file system you can have for FAT32 is four gigabytes. So if you're gonna transfer some pretty big files on this uh, USB drive, you can't use FAT32 because you can't have a file that's larger than four gigabyte there. So uh, that is why they made XFAT. XFAT is more compatible with different types of systems than NTFS and it doesn't have a file size limit. For some very old devices, you might have to use FAT32 anyways, and then it's impossible to basically have a file that's larger than four gigabytes on the drive. So for most intents and purposes, XFAT is the safest and best option to use for most people. But if you're gonna have a USB drive that's gonna transfer documents to very old computers and stuff like that, and the files are always gonna be below four gigs, well, FAT32 is your friend. If you want the max storage capability, and you're only gonna use this on Windows computers and laptops to transfer files, NTFS is the right choice for you. I'm gonna go with XFAT, and the allocation unit size should be set to default. There are different pros and cons of using the other ones, but I have another video explaining that.